We're very excited to have received the Accelerator Grant from the NetRF. It's a great opportunity for us to continue work that we've been doing for a number of years using a kind of therapy called peptide receptor radionuclide therapy or PRRT. Uh, over the years we've noticed uh, great variability in the response to that and uh, form of treatment amongst patients and uh, we believe that that probably relates to the ability of cells to repair DNA damage and we now have new tools that we can interrogate uh, the repair of radiation damage in cells and that's really the, the main uh, focus of this grant. We pioneered the use of PRRT uh, with radiosensitizing chemotherapy and found that that was both safe and effective. I think the, the real benefit of combining a PARP inhibitor with PRRT is going to be in those patients in whom the radiation dose is, is marginal. Opening the therapy up to patients who have much lower levels of somatostatin receptor expression. There are certain patients who we, when we measure their radiation dose delivery to tumours is, is rather low in the range of 5 to 15 grey uh, per cycle and, and we know that those patients are much less likely to respond to this treatment and uh, if we can further sensitise the cells by using a PARP inhibitor uh, we expect that this will make it a more effective therapy, particularly in those patients. And so we're incredibly grateful for the, uh, the work that Net Research Foundation does uh, to provide money uh, for this uh, area. And we, we think uh, there's clearly an unmet need. The, the burden of disease in uh, Net patients is very considerable, as you would be aware. Although it's a rare disease because people live for a long time and have a lot of symptoms, that the burden on, on the individual, on the family and on the community is, is very vastly higher than the incidence of the disease.